Thank you guys for joining me today. It's my pleasure to show you these artifacts. This is a great bird effigy. It's a bird effigy on the whole outside, but on the inside as well, you can see this carving, almost like an emoji. And if you see the circle there for his eye, and if you look closely back here, you can see the flight feathers. You may be seeing different birds represented because there's different levels of carving. So this is a really neat one. The whole outside image as well as just the bird. The interior carving image is much harder to see. And of course the flight feathers there. This one is a really neat one because it's birds in, in lots of different ways. Let's take a look at this one and then we're going to look at this great artifact that we have here in the background. So of course this bird, whenever you tilt him, you can see the nice round head and the tool marks here actually. The flint napping edge, if you look at the edge there, those who know about arrowheads know that that is a, uh, a napped edge. See the way it's curved? That's a really neat piece and we have lots of these bird artifacts. Tons of them. This is how I learned how to see the art, was looking around, trying to find more and more of these birds. You know, looking around on the stone, like, where's the bird? Where's the bird? Oh, there he is, ching And the same thing here with the round head. You can see the two beaks sticking together here. This one is quite a beautiful one. It actually has a sparkle in it. If you look closely at the head there, you can see the details, of course, for the eye. And the tail feathers, the wing feathers, rather. Again, represented there. Oh, beautiful piece. This one, I don't know if the world's ready for yet. It is one of the most defined portraits on stone. It has paintings of mammoths on it. Uh, very easy to see. So let's go ahead and start off on this one. This isn't going to be a very fast video, but I'm going to go over these images rather quickly. So if you're not seeing any of this stuff, then go ahead and check out some of the earlier videos because this may be a higher level for you. Of course, we're seeing in the profile to the right here in the black. And if you look at the eye socket there, you can see the carvings for that. Also, there may be a larger yelling mouth figure here. You can see how the nose is poking out here. There also may just be a, a mouth in there as well. And as we tilt this, you'll see how this becomes a cheekbone and the eye is represented right here at the top, the nose, and then the yelling mouth is if the person is shouting out. on this edge as we continue to turn it. And let me go ahead and reposition just a little bit. Really, we can just spin this though and, and I could show you so much on it, but we'll kind of go in order here as much as I can. You'll start to see these portraits facing at us. Those will be for left side profiles. Go ahead and show you those now. So you can see how on the left hand edge there, right on the corner, you have very large ones and small ones. We're seeing this very large portrait here with the open mouth, the nose of course, and the carving for the eye here. And if you look at the whole stone, seeing that face, now you can see the rest of this perhaps being hair. And I'm going to tilt it up just a little bit. You may be able to see some face paint and things as well. So you see the larger portrait. Now we're seeing a smaller one here, at least I am. So the mouth crack, always represented, and the nose, of course. And well, they have to get in closer to see where the eye is for that. Go ahead and move over to the right side portraits because we're really just getting profiles here on this side but we will we will explore that side as well what we'll do is we're going to do a little flip here now we're going to be looking at the color here on these ones you may be seeing things pop out all over mammoth heads and the portraits of the humans so you can see the different color here and the red paint that comes behind it there's also carvings of other eyes here but look at this silver paint and you'll notice that there's a profile here of a person, of a human. I'm sorry, I was covering it up. And so that paint there is on the face of the person. And as we tilt it right here, you'll be able to see the little lips and dentions for lips come out, ripples. And you may also be seeing different portraits. Of course, the eyes right here. And the face is kind of separated, of course, tucked in. Of course, we're seeing these rather large carvings for eyes. So let's go ahead and tilt that just a little bit. We could spend all day doing these, you know, there's just so many, right? But let's go ahead and show you the mammoth here. So the mammoth is represented in quite a few places, but one of the best representations that I've been able to see is right here. 
so. Looking at the stone in this direction. I'm sorry, not this direction. This direction. You can see how the belly of the mammoth sticks out here. First thing that pops out is this big belly. Second, as we're looking at it, see how the round belly ends right here? The lines stretching it. If you look here, there's the carving for the eye for the mammoth and the little tuft of hair that's on the top. The trunk comes down. If you look on these outer edges as well, you'll see these other eye carvings for other mammoths. There's one on the bottom and on the top. There's profile images of humans, of course, too, but whenever you see one mammoth on one of these stones, you oftentimes see another. And upside down, this is one as well. Let me go ahead and zoom out and show you from afar. It may pop out a little better for you there. Let's go ahead and get a look on the edge here. Now, of course, we see this profile image in here. There's several different ones, but let's, let's go ahead and explore that edge just a little bit here. And there we have a, a very nice painted tucked in version with of course the eye carving right here, the circle for it. And then when we tilt it, you can see how the definition for that comes out. The eye is still represented. Many times there'll be like a little diamond shape here where you can line up the eye. There it looks like our diamond shape there perhaps. This one isn't supposed to be meant to be viewed at such an extreme angle. Some of them are only just little slippers. But this one is more of a, a better side shot. Let's just go ahead and explore around here, guys. There's just really so much on here, it's hard to keep track of it all. So just go ahead and look around and I'll just show you over and over again on this portrait, or on this amazing artifact, all these profiles on here. When you get to see them in the light, you can start to see the way that they're actually shaped. And when you put them like this, you can see how the profiles come out. So the mammoth eye represented very well there. And we have these characters, very large. We're looking at the whole stone character here. I'm seeing all kinds of drawings and things in here as well on the top edge, but you can see this open mouth here and this long nose, and we'll go ahead and position this around just a little bit. Also just on the very edge there, seeing these ones on the, the silhouettes here coming through and of course our friend here there's really just you're gonna see so much more too as we're looking at the right side some of you are gonna be looking at the left side and you'll you'll see the other portraits popping up quite quite the artifact I see the one pointing up at the top there uh, in that light it's very helpful pointing to the left now of course, the eye socket and the nose and then the mouth right here. All these little ones just change the sizes of them. Let me see how they are intentionally put on here. Quite amazing. So when we tilt this right, you can see how the characters come out. Just gonna kind of keep quiet a little bit for you guys so you can just look at it as well. I don't wanna bore you with chatting. Here's a very nice, I'll describe things as I find them though, of course. There's a very nice painting perhaps of the Birdman. Look on that for surface images there. There's gonna be some coloration for his lips perhaps or his mouth, maybe a crack in the crystal. And what's great about this is just flip it 180. And there's a whole new set of motifs here. Look at the white-faced character facing to the right with the paint, the red paint that's presented onto him. Of course, the black eye. I love this one.
the f character facing upward right now is the one that I'm looking at. As you guys may be seeing several other ones, of course. Very neat one. Very interesting. Look how flat that is as well. That's not the flattest because it has images and things, carvings on it, but this motif here, if you look closely in the white, there'll be a, a portrait of a face and you'll see the banding. Very neat. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.